Whether you're setting up a new development environment for Python or just looking to try something new, choosing where you write your code is an important choice for developers. That's why in this video we're going to share with you our top IDEs and text editors for Python. As a general rule, a text editor is a lightweight tool that makes writing code easier. It provides syntax highlighting and code formatting, but often lacks a variety of features that come with a full-fledged IDE. That being said though, many modern text editors come with a robust plugin manager that allow you to install specific features that you may find in an IDE. An IDE, however, stands for an integrated development environment, and it comes with a vast suite of tools and features that streamline the coding, testing, and debugging process. It makes it much easier to organize your code and reduce overall errors. That being said though, IDEs are often much heavier weight and much more system intrusive using a lot more resources. So in this video, we're going to show you our top IDEs and text editors for Python. But first, let's consider a few different factors that we should look at when picking an IDE or a text editor. The first feature to look out for is autocomplete. But why is this an important feature? Well, as we all know, coding is extremely repetitive and a good autocomplete will save you a ton of time by helping you cut down on your keystrokes and helping you remember syntax. As modules and libraries become more complex, it is getting more difficult to remember each and every method, function, and class associated with them. A good autocomplete will show you these and even give you hints on the arguments that need to be used for these functions and methods. This can save you a tremendous amount of time as you can avoid going to Google to search up simple syntax that can be shown by your autocomplete. Many editors and IDEs come with a simple autocomplete built in. For completions that save you even more time, try Kite. Kite is a free AI autocomplete engine that integrates with all the popular Python IDEs. It uses machine learning models under the hood to give you relevant completions for up to full lines of code that can save you up to 80% of your keystrokes. Here's a small script to show how Kite works. Kite saves you a lot of keystrokes while you're typing by showing you relevant completions that complete the entire line. Kite also ranks all of its completions by relevance, so you get shown the best ones first. It does this by using a powerful machine learning model in the background while the Kite application is running on your computer. You can see here the Copilot window is up on the right side of our screen, and it's also showing us relevant documentation based on the lines that we're typing. Here we are seeing a feature of Kite called Intelligent Snippets, where it recommends the variables we typed above as the arguments to the specific method call. You can download Kite for free at the link below and it will download the plugin for all the supported editors on your computer during the installation flow. The next feature to talk about is resources. Now this is going to be more important to you if you're running on a slower or more outdated machine, but as a general rule, editors are going to use less resources than IDEs. Heavyweight IDEs like PyCharm and VS Code are notorious for using a ton of memory while they're running. However, I will say that PyCharm, which we'll talk about more later in this video, has been investing a lot in performance recently and it looks like the 2019.3 version has some meaningful improvement. This leads me into my next point which is about syntax highlighting. Essentially every option will have syntax highlighting and there are countless plugins available to customize the highlighting for whichever editor or IDE you do decide to pick. Syntax highlighting is nice because it allows you to find symbols and strings you're looking for quickly and also allows you to just have a better experience while you're reading and debugging your code. Which brings me nicely into the last feature, which is running and debugging code. Now this is a very popular option that comes with most IDEs, but some lighter weight text editors may not incorporate this. Now the ability to run your code from your editor is extremely convenient and definitely saves you a lot of time, but the standout feature here is the debugger. Learning how to use a debugger from an IDE, say like PyCharm, can save you a ton of time in the future as you can quickly step through your code and figure out what's going wrong without having to include a ton of different print statements throughout it. I will say, however, that some of these debuggers can be difficult to learn and not crazy intuitive, but if you can master the debugger, this will definitely save you a lot of time during development. Great, so now let's dive into our top IDEs for Python, starting with PyCharm. PyCharm is hugely popular and is many Python developers' IDE of choice. It's developed and maintained by a company called JetBrains, which operates under a freemium model. For individual use, the free version will probably be able to handle pretty much any task, but if you're working in a team environment and are using PyCharm a lot, you'll likely want to upgrade to the professional version. Like we've mentioned, it does use a lot of resources and is known for lagging and stalling frequently. However, it does include an awesome visual debugger, GitHub integration, automatic PEP8 formatting, the ability to install Python packages visually, and a large list of other useful features. You can tell how popular it is by looking at all the plugins that have been developed for it. There's a video on our channel outlining our favorite plugins for PyCharm. 
Now let's talk about Vim, an old school but ultra lightweight editor that is highly configurable. It supports hundreds of programming languages and file formats, it's available from the command line and terminal, and many Python pros live by it. It rarely ever crashes, uses hardly any system resources, and can be extremely powerful if used correctly. That being said, learning Vim can be difficult and it can be a pain to configure properly. However, if you can master Vim, you'll find yourself navigating through files at lightning speed and never having to touch your mouse again. You're either going to love it or hate it, but it's worth giving Vim a try. And last but not least, we have Atom. Now Atom is a great middle ground between a full-fledged IDE and a simple text editor. It was developed by GitHub as the hackable text editor for the 21st century, gaining 1 million users in its first year. Even though GitHub was bought by Microsoft last year, which has two of their own popular IDEs, they've committed to continuing to maintain Atom. Atom is modern, fast, and highly configurable. It has good performance and low resource usage, along with a lot of features of a full IDE. Atom also has a long list of plugins available to add some IDE-like features that you may be missing. PyCharm, Vim, and Atom cover the spectrum of the types of IDEs available for Python. Choose PyCharm for a fully loaded IDE with every feature you might need or want, and if you find beauty and simplicity, then Vim is the editor for you. Finally, in the middle ground is Atom, a good blend of intuitive and clean UX with the right mix of performance and functionality. All three of these editors are compatible with Kite. Download the Kite plugin at the link below to get advanced completions in whichever editor you end up choosing. After you've decided on the right editor for you, leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. Finally, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this.